G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, we're about to continue our journey in Undead Legacy. It is foggier than a rough Sunday morning after a big night out on the town right now, so I can't really do much ogling of my environment. But I need to stay home for the moment anyway, because right now, my ankles are still shattered after uh, some pretty poor decision making in a ruined building and accidentally falling several stories. I, uh, I don't have a whole lot of bones below my kneecaps right now. Unfortunately, I can't have some wizard or witch come over and waggle a little bit of dowel at me and regrow all my bones immediately. So instead, I'm going to have to take it easy for the morning and try and put my my quest to get all the dollar dues I can on hold. I still desperately want to buy that shotgun, but fortunately I do have two more, well, today and tomorrow rather, uh, before the trader restock. I've got a little bit of time to sort that out, but in the meantime, there's the morning chime, still foggy as dicks though. In the meantime, I want to try and upgrade some of my stations. I want my research station tier two, because that seems important. I've got plenty of SD cards after my endeavors in the robotics factory. I just need old books for you, but for you, no, not the maintenance station, actually, was it the artisan's table I wanted to do? No, nope, no, nope, wait, it was the blacksmith's forge. That's what I wanted to make myself. There's too many workbenches now, I'm struggling to keep track, but I need scrap iron and iron ingots to make myself the blacksmith's forge, which will open up all the other things I want to upgrade as well. So that's the next critical rung on this ladder that I'm very badly trying to climb. But the good news is that after yesterday's adventures and failing to dig up that treasure chest, uh, where was it? In here, I think it was? No... There it is. I now have my new my new blue brand spanking Valkyrie drill, which does 200% uh, damage to ore, asphalt, and earth as well. So that seems like a really good option to go digging up some iron veins. I'll take that with me. I'm going to need some fuel as well, which is just in them. I've gone through and sorted out my inventory somewhat. And actually, this box here, this is different to everything else because I can name this one. If I take off the name, it's a signed cardboard box. Nothing else around here I can hold E on and write some texture on the side of it. So I want to find some more of these particular boxes so I can organize things even better again. All right, you with me? That was on an exposition for the first thing in the morning, but I was yakking along so long that, well, the fog's now lifted so I can get cracking on. I need to stay slow and steady, though, because my splintery calcium sticks are starting to slowly fuse themselves back together. Uh, do I have everything I need for you, though? I want to chuck in... Yeah, actually, give me you. Give me that one, because I am going mining. I think you only have the one mod slot, do you? Yeah, you do. Put you into them. I don't know how good you're going to be against, like, stone and ore and stuff like that, but you're a pretty bloody whiz-bang against the soil. So I have high hopes for you. All I need to do is find myself an iron node and also test out my new M14, too. I think probably the best option to find this iron node is just to go trampling around in the bush out here. In fact, look, there's a whole bunch of them right there. Let's go to the triple arm just over there, just down the slope. We'll go out there, whip out the old Valkyrie drill and see how well it does. I'm pretty concerned about like not being able to repair it though. It's one of the reasons I want to upgrade my maintenance bench relatively quickly. So hopefully I can repair my, my Valkyrie drill. But I think there was that bench over at Trades. I could just pay money to get him to repair it. It might cost me several arms and multiple digits. But if I can get my Valkyrie drill back to full spec, it may cost me a thousand, but the value is definitely there. Before I get digging, there's an Arlene just up the hill and... Oh, I just wanted to test out my new rifle. Turns out it is the tits, as if we expected anything different. Is there even anyone else out here? Or was it just Arlene, a wandering target, begging for a shot on the back? Uh, yeah, no, all right, I guess we're good. Slap another round into the user. We've got a full condiment ready to go if someone does show up and causes problems. I didn't bring any rock buses can or anything like that. We're just going to see how this goes by itself and go. Hold on a second. <laughs> Some petrol might actually help. Okay, and go. I mean, yeah, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's also not particularly slow. How much iron ore am I getting? A fair good whack of it too. Although that's iron ore. How do I... Uh-oh. How do I turn ore into scrap? Do I like to... Do I just scrap it and get it that way? I don't... Ooh, it's 165. Is that the way to do it? That feels wasteful and probably wrong, but I don't think I have a better option. You know what's really nice as well? The fact that I'm currently digging up half the planet using the power of motorization and not going deaf immediately. Such a big uh, improvement over the regular organ. Keep on going. Grab all of this. Does take to it pretty well, carving through the channel like it's a perfectly designed butter knife. All the way through. 
Wait, is that? Ooh, is that a different kind of ore? No, it's still iron. We're fine. Oh, some copper ore. Where did I get the copper ore from? Did I get it out of here? No, that's sand. Is there another node down here somewhere? Where did the copper come from? We're going to need some more of that. Look, I'm not sure, but my Valkyrie drill is almost, well, in a bad way. So I might just grab a couple more blocks and then get out of here. How am I going to get out of here? I can't build frames anymore. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're going to take after the Simpsons then and dig our way out. I also can't jump because my ankle's still knackered. And I'm way down a heckin' bloody lot. This was a bad decision. I... I did not think this all the way through. Um, <laughs> and I'm causing a ruckus down here by using tools that might call it a screamer. I need to get out of here pretty bloody quickly. So I'm going to have to dig my way out. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous now. I might have... I might have caused myself a grievance. It's not great. But I am slowly dragging myself up out of this ditch. I really should have thought of that beforehand. I almost doubly overweight. My weightlifting skills are going up, though, so I guess that's a positive. Not clever. Not your best move, and that's saying something. There's a lot of evidence to prove that I'm a mopper, but this is just adding fuel to that fire. Okay. Up that way. Come on, keep on climbing. I can't jump to... Uh, I can't jump to get on that ledge, and if I do try, it just breaks my ankle more. Get rid of that one. And go up like this. How, how have I got myself into this situation? <laughs> I'm so close. I'm so close. I can taste the fresh air and feel the sunlight. Oh, this is not quick. This is not a quick endeavor. Are we good? Are we fine? I mean, my bike can carry 500 kilos from every, so I think we're going to be okay just to get ourselves home again. Come on, up and out of the hole. You're so close. So close. Um... Just like, there you go, there you go. Just smooth out the terrain a little bit to get your big, fat, juicy ass up out of the divot. <laughs> that was uh, that was an interesting uh, experiment there, Josh. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get up into my base either. That's up a bloody ladder. Wow. Okay. Well, learn that lesson, please. Please remember you don't have frames in the future. They're integral to everything and you have none. Come on, Josh. It's 20 past 7 in the morning. We've barely been in the game for five minutes and you've already made a right mug of yourself. Get it together. I think my only viable option right now is just to whip around the corner and use the dumpsters just here. Um, what am I carrying that's weighing so much? Just that? Okay, can I go like half of you, chuck you in? That puts me just a little bit overweight. That's fine. I'll come back for you in a jiffy. Don't you worry about it. I got my trusty cricket bat in case we have any problems. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm seeing some issues with like the habits that I have from playing vanilla so much. Like I, I have a certain way of playing seven days that works for me more often than not. But those habits are now a detriment to me because the game has changed and I'm just too much of a galah to learn anything new. It's not going well. So if I just look at the furnace right quick, you... No, so you only make ingots out of scrap iron, so I have to scrap it. Is there a better way to do this, though? Ooh, iron ingot. No, I can make you... So I can turn you into iron ingots, then. How many is that going to make me? 65. There's probably some math here that's going to work out that I probably need to do first. So it costs me two iron ores to make an ingot, right? But if I just make a regular ingot out of scrap... Can I go back to the regular one, please? Oh, there we go, right next to each other. So the scrap one uses 10. So it's two for 10. And if I scrap one of you, I get five. Okay, so the math lines up. There's no, like, more efficient way to do that. That's all fine. In that case, then, just quickly whiz-bang you on for all of that hotness. I'll actually scrap you for now. Chuck the rest of this stuff away into one of my many boxes that are about to be replaced with something rideable. No, not that one. That's my food and stuff. That's my tools and stuff. Oh, there's still some more food and drinks in there that I haven't sorted out yet. That's fine, though. Okay, I still got to have everything everywhere. It's not as organized as I kind of hoped it would be. You can all go into there. I need to go back and get my um the rest of my ore out of the dumpster. But you can go back into there. You did good. You kind of fucked up, but you did real good. Grab the rest of my ore out of the dumpster. Cheers, big ears. I'll just whip my bike around the corner and park it right up next to the ladder that I come down on. In fact, something I've probably been sleeping on. There's a whole bunch of hay bales, like, just next door. And I'm, like, throwing myself out the window every morning. Maybe I should have been... Maybe I should have been grabbing a couple of those hay bales and just putting them down here somewhere so we can jump off that ledge, layer to the hay bale, and not have to go through the whole, like, mouse maze all the way down to the bottom to avoid breaking my ankles again. 
Not a bad idea. I've got one more minute on my broken ankle, though, so I can start getting prepared to head off into the town. What a productive use of my morning, though. Couldn't be athletic, but fortunately for me, I have lots of experience being unathletic. Actually, so I guess in that case, if it all works out the same in the end, there's no real harm in me just scrapping you into scrap iron. A chunk of iron ore, very useful in its raw state. You first have to refine it in the furnace by melting it down and solidifying it into an iron ingot. Okay, so that's just going to the next step, but I do need scrap iron. Whoo, 655. It's gonna take 10, 11 minutes to do though. I mean, that's that's a lot of iron ore. Oh, sorry, a lot of scrap iron that I am pretty desperate for. So I guess in that case then, focus on getting the old books for you. And what? So that's gonna cover that one by a margin. I've got enough iron ingots getting smelted in you. Already done. Holy shit, you move quickly. That is an efficient furnace. That surprised me quite a lot. Nice. So all I need is that, which I have. Is there... Oh, that's why I need the workbench. How far away am I from a workbench? If I could have the workbench up and going at home, I could scrap that while I'm out gallivanting around the wilderness. I need one iron plating, which I should actually... No, oh, God damn it. I need the blacksmith's forge to do that, though. There's always a hurdle. I wonder if there's a way to like allocate these move like icons to like a hotkey or something like that. Rather than move the mouse over and click a couple of times because that's apparently so much effort for me. If I could just like allocate it to one of the buttons to be like just tap T a couple of times and it moves everything across and then like maybe Y would do like the dump all button because you already have R to pick up everything. So is there a way to get like a hotkey to dump everything to? I don't know. Someone smarter than me, please look into that and then let me know because I would never ever figure it out. Right, see what I mean though? If I had a hay bale right there, right in that corner. Oh, get a flops. I could just drop straight down. In fact, I might do that. Because I'm still over, oh shit. Because I'm still over encumbered with all of my scrap iron going on. I can't really head out right now or else I'll be bananaed in no time. Let's go get ourselves with my new sprightly legs and how will their ligaments work it again? Hello bones, how are ya? I've missed you. Let's go get a couple of those hay bales, chuck them into place and just future proof it for future Josh. This is where I want the hay bales. There's just some stone in the way. That's fine. Even my rubbish pickaxe will do a nice job on you. Turn to go and get the Valkyrie drill, which I'm still really, really happy with. I'm I'm not sure if that's like a find well before my time. If I stumbled across that when it's a, like a later game thing, because it feels so bloody good for the level that I'm at. I'm very, very pleased with it. So let's quickly get all rid of you all the way along. Lovely. Uh, range, you can just move for the moment, please. Grab myself the hay bales. Just got the square ones, not the round ones. And put you in like that. Why are you on the piss? Why aren't you... Come back. Why aren't you lined up with the rest of them? What? 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 <laughs> what? It's good. Uh, you know what? Listen, if you're going to be difficult, I'll just dig your little furrow underneath and chuck you down so you level with the ground. Probably not a bad idea as well. Might keep you safe from a couple of zombies too. Nice. That's a bit better. Hay bale, hay bale, and hay bale. Now you're all nice and level. Sick. That's going to make getting out every morning so much better to the point where I actually just like kind of whip my bicycle over and park you right up next to it. Can I chuck a cheeky you banger? Almost. Turning circle of a city bus. Let's leave you right there. Nice. Okay, let's head back upstairs again. I've only got six... <laughs> only got six minutes left. Six minutes left on my crafting. Uh, you know what? In that case, then, I am going to put my time to use. Rather than just sit at home and twiddle me thumbs, I'm going to go and actually hit up a couple of vending machines. See what other kind of candies are out there. I want some more skull crushes for <laughs> when I never have to find a hoard again. Also, I kind of want some rock busts if I can find some... We'll see what's out. We'll see what we can find. The first one was just here, I think, wasn't it? Are you working? Yes, you are. I don't have you marked on my map, so we'll go here. Save waypoint as a dollar sign is what I'm using for the vendors now. Because my normal one, the one I normally use, like the skyscraper icon thing, because it kind of looks like a vending machine, just isn't in here. And there isn't like a dedicated vending machine icon, which I think, personally, is a missed opportunity. I can put a witch's hat in, but that might conjure up some black cats or something. Right, you, skull crap. Oh, I'll take you. Oh, sugar butts. That will make the shotgun cheaper. Okay, I'll buy you. Thank you. And rock busters. So I spent a bit of cash, but I'm going to make some cash back. You still definitely give me the 10% off, don't you? Yeah, 10% better bartering. So what's that? On an $8,000 shotgun that takes it down 800 bucks? 
Wow, that's a, that's really good. That's a real good find. Happy with that one. You know what this game needs? Uh, I say this game like seven days in general, and it's more like, you know what I need in this game as opposed to what regular functioning people need? I wish there was a way that I could have like a sticky note or something. You know how I can pin recipes over on the right hand side? Like if I want to go, oh, I, I really want to make this one. And I can go pin and it pins it over here. I wish there was a way I could have like a little sticky note system where I could write notes to myself. So I'm like, oi dickhead, tomorrow you're supposed to be doing this. Or, oi knob jockey, you've already bought the bloody schematic for your mechanics table. Yes, I'm still bitter about that. There's just little like notes I can leave for myself. Only like maybe two or three would be enough in small font, but just a way for me to keep track of things. Ooh, I kind of want you actually while I'm here. Do I have any empty jars? No, I don't. But you've only got one inside jar. All right, you hold on there for a second. So you can find yourself a jar to empty before I take you. In fact, you. Can I take you? You're like a gaming PC. Strap some RGB to it. Oh, only worth like 20 bucks. Can I scrap you? No. Can I use you for anything? Hey, what? Scrapped the disassembly station, but that was like blue, like a schematic. Uh. Is that a thing? Can I take things home, whack into the dis disassembly station, and get a schematic out of it? Disassembly station, you. You might be the next thing I get. Then I need some planks. The rest of the stuff I have back at home, that's all fine. Let's go and cut down a couple of trees. Interesting. And I can, oh, can I put the schematic for my mechanic station there and get my SD cards back? It's very hopeful, I know, but it might work out. Ooh, I see, this is why I need the sticky note so I can make myself another note so I don't forget about that too. There's too many things for me to remember. There's three. Still no sign of any glass jars, which is a bit frustrating. They're normally everywhere. I've got a ton of them back home, but I can't find any right now. So might just be shit out of luck on that. Nor is there any of those writable signed boxes that I'm so desperate for. Some more ingots out of you. I'm now, ooh, about, ooh, do you work? You might work. I'll grab you. I'm 100 grams away from Q coming again, so we're right on the cast. How's my scrap I'm looking? 40 more seconds, but it is now after midday, so I've wasted most of my day just shit, just waiting for my bloody things to scrap. Oh god, hit you for bloody six. Bloody love the cricket bat. I mean, I'm here now, so I may as well search the last little loot room of this place. Ooh, drone cargo extender. That's going to be definitely useful eventually. I'll read you. Read one of the basic senses, scrap the other one, get some more SD cards. I'm now overburdened, as I seem to always be. Medical supplies, not too bad. I kind of want to take you home with me. I haven't said that to anyone other than Arlene in a while, but I kind of really do. Got a couple of lockpicks. Oh, yes. Now, this was the thing that I got from the comments. I don't have to click and drag it anymore because I was having some serious issues with that. I can just use the A and D keys to move it around. Got to be so much better, so much more efficient. <laughs> Still kind of struggle to find the spot though. It's also why Arlene wouldn't come home with me. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, so close. A little nudge. Just a little tickle. No, nope, gone the wrong way. Tickle back the other way then. And oh, surely, surely we're so close. What? Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay, rolling toolbox. Open you up. Take a couple of gears and take you with me. If I need somewhere to store my tools, what better way to have than a sweet rolling toolbox? Also, quickly break down you. Give myself, hopefully, some more SD cards. It's already 1 p.m. I'm supposed to be making money for the shotgun. I'm not doing that right now. Gross. Another stun button schematic. Scrap you. A couple of headlights. Electric fence post. Definitely read that one. It's always useful. And a sliding gate schematic. So, if I'm finding stuff that I haven't read yet, I will still take the opportunity to, well, you know, learn that recipe. It's always good to know. But if it's doublers or something I'm never going to craft myself or ever use because stun buttons are trash, then uh, it's just not worth my time. Okay. You, real fast. No, okay, I can't do anything with that. So let's just take you with me then. Not until you're empty. Fine, fine, whatever. Have Ooh, I was wandering water over there. Have it your way. I'm going to head back home because my scrapping is now done. Happy as. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. We'll get this done. We'll go do a job and hopefully make some dosh. We're this close to that shotgun. I'm excited about it. First thing I want to do is just chuck my toolbox down. How much space did you have? About the same as a regular container. That's fine. I'll go through and... Mm, actually, you can just all come with me for now, and I'll put you straight in, so I know where all my tools are. Repair kits as well. I think most of that had some tools in there too, but that's a later Josh problem. Let's just try and sort all of this out. All of you into them. All of you into them. Okay, so I need to upgrade my research station. No, I can't. I don't have the book set. Need to build myself the blacksmith forge and the disassembly station. 
Where the shit I'm going to stack all of that, I have no bleeding idea. I'm going to try it out anyway. You can go back down to them. There's all my scrap iron. Looking lovely. Good. Okay, so Artisan's Table. Blacksmith's Forge. You've got everything you need. Get you crafting. I'm going to take 20 seconds. And while you're doing that, disassemble... Oh, no. okay. So I can't make you yet because I need the workbench. And to make the workbench... First of all, I need to research it. But second of all, I also need the iron plating. And then to make it's going to be, I assume, like a, a wrench and a hammer and stuff like that. Which I don't think I can just make myself. Got to need the schematic for it. And yeah, okay. It's going to be it's gonna be a whole thing. In fact, where do you even get made? You get made in the Blacksmith's Forge. So we're kind of getting along the right track. There you are. Grab you. Ooh, you are, ooh, you are reasonably big, aren't you? So is the research station. Bigger than you might think. I'm going to pick up some of these things and just reevaluate how I've chucked it all down. Uh, in the meantime, just like there for the moment, I suppose. On a great position. Going to set fire to the cupboards up on top. But I really have a better option for you right now. Okay, let's uh, let's put you away. That, in this case, just, um, I don't know, just go there or something. I'll figure you out later on. It's half past two. Let's get out there. Let's go do a quest for trading and try and get some good graces and some good cash. Almost bloody left without giving myself some nutrients as well, which wouldn't have been particularly clever. But there's the empty glass jars I was looking for. Uh, bacon and eggs as well. Put that in your mouth. Can't make any more because I need some more eggies. That's fine. All right, let's get out. Right on to you. Didn't hurt, didn't break my ankles. Successful test that I didn't even think about first. Nice, let's crack on. It doesn't seem like that big of a change, but I actually really like the difference in trade or restock time. So in regular vanilla, it's only three days, which usually means you have like two days, if that, to try and go and try and make the money if there's something worth buying. But this one, what is it, four days, I think? It was about nine and then 13. So even just that four days gives you a chance to see something you want and push to try and make the cash to buy it. Because like in vanilla, you already have to have the cash or you're just not going to make it in time, which is kind of sad. So I do like, the different change. Oh, some more sugar butts. Thank you. Uh, the rest of you, not so much. I don't really want the hackers right now. I might need an adventure, so I'll take one. Covert cats don't need you at all. All right, that's easy done. Trady uh, boy. I empty your pockets. I don't really have a lot of my pockets right now, but you can fold all around in there for all your bloody want to. Uh, we'll both get something out of that. Buried supplies. Yeah, now nah. I, mean, I have the Valkyrie job, but it's back at home and broken. Restore power. That's a nighttime thing. Restore power. Restore power. You, that, that, this, listen, this is not a good selection of quests. I'm going to do that one because it's the only one that's kind of feasible. It's the vet. Oh, I don't mind the vet. It's got some good loot at the end and might have some boxes on the way through it as well. Nice. So let's go tickle that exclamation mark and get cracking on. Not worth that much cash, but at least we've got ticketed it over. Here we are. Nice and easy. Park up out the front. I've already been through here before, so no second guesses in just resetting it and quickly grabbing you. The mystery bag of goodness. Oh, to can miss so I found so many good things in uh, in this trailer over the years that I always get excited when I get to go and have a gander in there. Okay, fast game's good game. Get out, Lace. How are you? <laughs> Sit her right back down again. Come on. Up you get. Up you get. And down you go. Gotta get in here and out of here very quickly. Oh, hello. Three old books. Lovely doubles in the filing cabinet. And a ratchet scrap. Well, actually, two. Read one, scrap one. Take the other old book. How many books did I need for the research station upgrade? I think it was like nine or something. I think I needed a fair old whack of knowledge out of that. So might be a little bit beyond me. There's another safe that I can't pick into because my lockpicking skill isn't high enough. Actually, or is it? I have regular lockpicks now. Was it... What level were you? You're level... No, I'm going to be level 75. I'm level 25, so that's still not going to do it for me. Pile of books. No, we're just some paper. Dang it, I hated the actual books, not just a paper inside. I can see that doggo all the way on the far side. Fortunately for me, though, I have my new beauty rifle, just like that. Oh, nice and clean. Yes, it made a big noise, but you know what? Killing a zombie dog from range is always a better option. You ate that. How good is your bloody hard hat? If you can take a bloody 792 right to the chin and just gobble it up like you haven't eaten breakfast. I'm not sure if I'm mad or impressed, but it's one of the two. Anything else around here? Not really. Okay, let's just keep on pushing on and see what else we can find. Is there something up here, though? No. Was there something in here, though? Maybe. Oh, yep, the supplies. I kind of need those. Still no sign of any more of those writable boxes, which is a heck and bloody shame, because I really want them now that I know that they exist. I'll steal your bed while I'm at it. I mean, like, 30 bucks is 30 bucks, I suppose. Easiest way I've ever made money on a bed before. Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Speaking of, hit you down. Take my arrows back. Thank you very much. Oh, no, I feel like I'm mildly insulted her with that. And not talking about the arrow. More bookcases always gets me a little bit excited. Pipe bomb. Wait, have I read you? You kind of... I can't tell if like, it's grayed out because it's got a blue background. But like the icon itself is grayed. Let's just double check that. Always double check things. I'm scared to pull the trigger before my time now. Pipe bomb. You. I have definitely read before. Okay, nice. So I can freely scrap that one. What's in the other? Bicycle frame. Yeah, so if the icon, it's like the object itself rather than the background is colorful, that means I haven't read it before, but I will scrap you. Already have my bike. Quickly break apart all these for some extra nails, because at some point I'd like to put myself some better storage. And nails are important for that. We're down to the last battle, I think. Oh, one of them's already got out and escaped. That must have been who came through the wall and said good day to me a second ago. Well, in that case, they've already opened it up, and we're going to say no, just right there. And there should be one more Muppet hanging out the back. Ow! I was expecting to be further along. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Shotgun. Oh! Oh, shotgun, let me down. That's okay. That's okay. M14 workers. M14 is everything. <laughs> Turns out, maybe the guns are okay, and I'm just shithouse. That's probably a better way to describe things. Nice. Job done. Give you a little tickle so you're nice and open so I can come out here later on. Uh, empty plastic bottle. You're not a rideable box either. Damn it. Where can I find those? They're good and I want them. I've got plenty of room left in my pockets. That's all fine. That's not hit me really bloody hard, by the way. That hurt quite a bit. Uh, all right. I'll just use you. Nice little freebie first aid band. Don't mind if I do. What else have you got for me? Medium ammo pile. 762 rounds. Iron arrowheads. Oh, a laser sights. That sounds fun. Modify you. Can I whip you straight on? There you go. Give you an extra 7.5 damage. Do you actually, like, get put onto the model, though? Oh, you do. So, look at you. Up the very end over there. Paint little red dots on zombies' foreheads. That's a good time. What's in the lab equipment box? Some more first aid stuff. That's probably to be expected. And scrap you for the SD cards. I will scrap you because even though you're better, you're heavy and yeah, nah. Scrap that. More ammo. Thank you very much. And last but not least... A scrap shovel, which is going to be the same as mine, I think. Oh, no, it's better. You're doing 35.5 compared to my current 32.3. Quickly change it over. Thank you very much. An empty fuel can. Nice. Happy as. Pull up out the front. G'day, tradie boy. I have returned from your rather mediocre quest, if we're being honest. Uh, you. How about I empty your... <laughs> you sure can. All right, so another scrap axe, which is hero. worse than my current one. So you're doing... Oh, no, hang on. You're doing 28, and this one's doing 26. You're actually better. I've got a, a fair amount of first aid banders already, so I'd rather just take the better tool. Thank you very much. Uh, any other jobs that's kind of tempting at all? Not really. I don't want to go picking a fight at night, so I'm already terrified of that and not really up to the task. In that case, then, I'll just come back tomorrow. Uh, real quick, though, I want to quickly swap over this one. Where did that axe go? Just there. Swap you for you. Level 18. Three skill points to spend. How did that happen? I want to be paying attention. Actually, that's not surprising at all. I'm just looking through what he's got to offer. There's not really that much, but I am kind of tempted by the rifle parts because then I could upgrade my M14. But I think I needed like, like three or four, I think it was. That would be the first one, the start of many. But while I'm here as well, let's go sort by value. I wish there was I could buy things to sell. So when I get to the trade, I can just go through and sell everything already. So I want to sell the king size bed. That's fine. Sell all the cash. Maybe I should have waited until I had the sugar bites in me to do this, but that's okay. I'm going to save that for later. Anything else in here that I want to sell? Don't really think so. Most of it's all pretty useful. Got some purple dye, actually, for my bike as well, but look at it. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. There we go, the enforcer. So with the sugar butts, 10% off. It's going to take $870 off you, so it's going to drop you to like 7800 So I'm only two grand shy. We're almost there. We are almost there. We can almost taste it. Oh, I came and had a chat to the other trader, and he's got a schematic for a cement mixer. 2200 So with 10% off that, that's going to be like 200 less. So basically two grand exactly. I really want that. I really want that a lot. It's going to save me a lot of uh, SD cards. You've also got some interesting things to offer me. Ooh, you're very expensive. So like, this is the thing, though. I just need so much bulk cash on all the rifle parts, too. Good. Shit, so I need, like, 10 grand to buy all the things I want. So I need to make a lot of money tomorrow. Yeah, this thing. This thing here. Trade this repair stage. So I have something that's kind of broken, like you, for example. So it's going to cost me 100 bucks 
to repair a piece of shit shovel by a third. Repairing my Valkyrie drill is going to cost me all of my cash, but you know what? It's definitely worthwhile. We'll have to do it after I buy that shotgun, though. Still have no idea what the extra ammo uh, crate is, so we're just going to have to live without it, I guess, for the moment. Cricket to chirp a note. Let's get back home again. And finally, finally, do the upgrades and stuff that I want to. Did I get enough books out of all of that to upgrade my thing? I didn't. I'm five books shy, but we're edging ever closer. Right, okay, what about you? Can you get upgraded? No, not even close. Actually, no, because what I want to do is go to my blacksmith forge. You... How do you work? You have a lot of options for me. So if I want to make myself, like, what is it? Like the, the plates, I think it is? Plate mold. I have a plate mold somewhere. Hang on. Hang on. No, no, it's not. Is it bars, maybe? What's it called? How about you just search iron, Josh? Iron. Right. What do you actually make me? me scrap axes. That's fine. Spikes, arrows, dart traps, a freaking scrap katana. Mm, but I'm into clubs at the moment. We'll talk about that later. Iron plating. That's the one I was thinking of. So, I need a bunch of fuel for you, and you can turn all my ingots into plating. Give me half of you. Cheers, knackers. Just chuck into there for now, and go and whack you into my new forge. Wait, do you not need fuel? What? And I want to use all my ingots on you at one time? Before I do that, let's make sure I don't need ingots for anything else. I don't want to go and search it all up later. Mmm, you're looking fine. That's all good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Where do I upgrade the forge, though? To the furnace. You need bricks, a crucible, a cooking grill. Doable. I just want to make sure I don't burn my bridges too fast. Now, everything I need, I think, uses iron plating. So I think we're fine just to whack all of that in and see how it goes. Craft. Hey, was that two for one? Oh, it is two. Two ingots for one plating. All right, I'm starting to see that I'm going to need just a shitload of iron all the time. Dang. All right, well, let's chuck the shit away that I can, put everything into its place. We'll find out better uh, storage another day. At least I bloody hope we will, because for the moment, shit's kind of everywhere. While well, I'm thinking about it as well, actually, now that I have my hay bales there, so I'm usually parking my bike up over on that little corner, having my ladders on the inside of that wall... It's pointless. You know, I have to run all the way around to get up and into my house. So instead, I'm going to quickly pick it back up again. Most valuable things in the world being wooden frames. Get the M14 out of the way for the moment and quickly grab some laddery boys. That one. All right, I'm going to whack you on the wall. Basically in line with that little ramp I come down on. So if I go like that and that. Ooh, and like that. Can I make that all the way up? Skip the gap up to the top. Ooh, almost. Almost. Okay, I can. Oh shit, I can do this better. <laughs> just please don't break your ankles again. We just got through that and it sucked. There. How's that one? How's that going to go? We can just go up. Scale it all up to the tippy top and up onto the ramp and straight into my house. That is much, 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 much better. But what I do want to do is grab a cheeky torch, which is just in this box. Grab one of you. Thank you. And go and whack you on the wall right next to it. So then when I'm trying to get up here in the dead of night, which I usually am these days, at least I can see what the hell I'm doing. You just go there. Yep, that'll be fine. Come to think of it as well, actually, didn't I have a shitload of scrap iron around? I did. I want to leave... Ooh, I want to leave like 100 in there. So let's go like 47. I need like 100 scrap iron just in case I need it for different things. Craft you. You're going to take very long at all, but I'll come back for you in a moment. I really got to try and push get as much of this plating going as I can. You are now done. So I'll put you into one of these boxes where you belong. That one there. That's a lucky guess. Okay, so now that I have that... Uh, do I see that right? Do I only have 30? I only have 30. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. In that case, then, while I'm waiting for all of this, I did find the ratchet schematic out there today, didn't I? I did. It's crafting the workbench the same. It needs steel plating. Hmm, okay. Okay, well, that's all right. At least I found a schematic for it. That's kind of what I'm worried about, though. If I upgrade the research station, I feel like all of my workbench are going to be upgraded at the same time because even though I'll get, like, the better schematics, I'm going to need better workstations to actually make the things I'm researching. So I kind of got to make sure I can upgrade everything all at once rather than just go, like, drips and drabs. Is that kind of the way it works in my head? What else can I do, then? What else can I do to make my life a little bit better? What's out there waiting for me? I've just forgotten. Annoyingly, if I just search club, it doesn't show me, like, all the things that are clubs. It, ooh, Titanium Club. That looks sick. It just shows me everything that has club in the name and the baseball bat, apparently. Can I even make, like, a cricket bat? Bats. No, the cricket bat doesn't even come up in here. All right, interesting. Well, what I'm more curious about, though, is a storage. I can make iron storage. I make wood storage. Storage 36. 
storage 64. I don't have very many LCD screens. I've got one LCD screen, so I'm probably a little bit silly about making one of those. But if I get like a really big storage chest like that, hopefully that's labelable. Labelable is that a word? It is now. Hopefully that's labelable storage as well. So I can like use that as like my main like materials box, I guess. And use like my other cover box and stuff like that. Oh, that's why I can label that one. I didn't find that one. That's the one storage box that I made for myself. Okay. So you're giving me 30. You're giving me 36. And you're giving me 64. So you're... Where do I make you? Crafting in workbench? God damn it! It was only three rifle parts to upgrade my M14. It does... Oh, it uses steel... Pl uh, sorry, iron plating as well. So that's mm, maybe a little bit less tempting than it was a second ago. But they were 400 bucks a pop over at Tradies. And... Uh, like Ryan, the old, uh, the other rando uh, trader that's over there, he had four to sell. So 400 bucks a pop, less than 10% because of the sugar bites. It's going to be like just under like, under 400. I think it was like 420, so it goes down to like 380. So it's still like $1,000 for the rifle parts, which I just don't have to spare right now. So tomorrow, tomorrow I really got to push. I'll go and hit the vending machines again, because it's always good practice to go and see them anyway, and see what I can come up with. Goddamn Nicole burying her chest and not having a way for me to get inside it. I didn't even mark... Oh, did I mark it? I did actually, didn't I? Was it... 50. It was level 50 for me to get inside there. Got a long way to go before I can pop it open. So I've got to find another way to make money as quickly as possible. But another, like, two jobs for trading... So I'll do two jobs tomorrow to get my shotgun. That's a big ask, but if I do it right, we should be okay. Well, I guess that's going to do it. Just another night of sheltering up at the top of this tower and hoping nobody finds me. I do have, like, the, the horde base kind of thing here now. So if something does know that I'm up here, they're going to come to here and I could probably just shoot them in the head. A suppressor for the M14 would be a really good time. What's it going to cost me, actually? Suppressor. Not a silencer. Even though it says silencer, it's definitely a suppressor. How mm, ballistics table tier two? So a long way to go before I get one of those two. That's upsetting. Maybe I can just get real lucky again. Continue leaning on the luck gods and find one in a I don't know a garbage bag somewhere at some point. That would be lovely, lovely. But I have to try and do that tomorrow. It's a big day tomorrow. I can't get distracted. As much as I want to go and raid the bookstore over here to get myself some more novels so I can upgrade my research station. That's going to have to wait. I've got to try and get those two jobs done to get the cash to buy the shotgun. If I get that shotgun, I feel, I, I feel like I've got a much better chance of surviving Horde Night. Ammo is a problem, but doing more damage per pellet, that's always a good time. So I have to come back and try and push those two jobs, get the jobs done, and buy that shotgun. Fingers crossed. In the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.